Hello there everybody and welcome. Today I would like to show you a little game that I made a few years ago. I'm just going to go ahead and press play. Now you can play this game. The link is in the description. The website is playland.co.za. As you can see it says welcome to my interactive CD. Press P for control. So I'm just going to hit P there and just turn the music down a little bit because it is a little bit loud. And there you can see the controls. So, as, as you can see, I made this game as a CV. What actually happened was I was making my CV and I got distracted by HTML uh, and you know, JavaScript and all that. And I decided to just make this as a challenge to myself and a CV. And I actually have got a little bit of work out of this, although it is kind of pointless. I, I find it, you know, it's fun. I find this game quite fun to play. Anyway, let's, let's just go for it. Um, so, as you can see, the character says I can jump back over there. And we've got some spikes down there and a moving platform. And then we've got this billboard here, Blank Canvas, which is my parent company uh, that I work for, I freelance for. We do 3D renders. So I'm just going to jump onto this platform. You don't have to jump into the platform, you can jump over the spikes, but it is a bit dodgy. So I wanted this game to be a little bit like N and that you can climb walls. It's actually something that I, every time I make a 2D game, I always add this feature of climbing walls. It's just my favorite thing. I just love the idea of like a little ninja that can climb walls. Anyway, so here's the first cutscene in the game. Press E to skip, it says at the top. Hello, I'm so glad you're here. Something strange is happening. The trees are dying. The trees are dying. We must find Tom. I'm Tom, by the way. So the, the conceit of the game is that this character is looking for me because I'm the only person who can save the game. And uh, the world is like dying, I suppose. Yeah, it's talking about me. He's an unemployed bum. I'm not unemployed, I am gameplay employed. But he mainly models 3D furniture. It's true, I've made thousands of models of 3D furniture. Oh no, here they come. Okay, so they're the first enemies in the game. And the way they drop out of that little tree over there, jump on their heads. Ooh. Hey, that was very lucky. These enemies are quite difficult to jump on because their, their AI is programmed to avoid you when you try to jump on their heads. So, as you can see there, he avoided me. The best way to do it is actually to get them as they're about to jump like that. Um, okay, I took a little bit of damage there. I'm on two bars of health. So here you can see Leyland Gallery. So this is some of the artwork that I've done. It's quite old artwork. I need to update this. Um, this is the first picture that I did with my new Wacom pad when I bought it. My ex-girlfriend, uh, a deer, and my left hand that I did in Blender. This is all very old stuff. I've done many... These days I do mainly animation. I don't really need to render stuff now. People are just much better at me than rendering and I, and I don't feel like competing with them. Uh, so here is a skateboard. You can jump onto that. Cowabunga! From an artist stud. It's a logo I designed. And jump, jump, jump. I'm probably not going to die in this playthrough just because I've played this game so many times. I, I urge you to try the game yourself. It is quite difficult, but it is fun. So this guy... I've, I don't think I've ever taken this guy out so quickly as I just did there. That was... I'm, I just impressed myself. Okay. So... See, every time you walk past a tree, the tree will start dying. That's part of like the story of the game, I suppose. And I jump up here. And there's some health. I do need health. And this this billboard here is a 3D model that I... Ooh! Ah, there I died. I just said I wasn't going to die. So when you respawn, it just goes back to the last checkpoint. There's about six checkpoints in this game. I have to kill this guy again. No. Whoa. I don't have to kill him. Let me, let me just leave him. Where are you going? That's weird. Oh, there. Now he smelt me. When I got close enough, he smelt me. Okay. Oh, this is a Leela action figure I, I made. Um, I meant to sell it on Turbo Squid, but nobody bought it, so... Who cares? 
important thing about my life is that I've made so many things or spent so much time doing things that did not pay off. Anyway, here is a gun that uh, you can pick up. Use the mouse to shoot, it says, so I'm shoot the enemies. They are programmed to dodge the bullets. If you fire from far enough away, they will jump over the bullet as you fire at them. Hopefully I can show you that with this enemy here. See how he jumps over the bullet. Got him. Okay, so elevator out of order. This this part is to show off the the end like qualities, the ninja like qualities of this game. So let me attach myself here and go. Oh, 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 oh. And I'm at the top. And here is a oh. I uh, didn't mean to do that. Fell down. Okay, so this guy's gonna try get me. I'm just gonna avoid him, avoid him, avoid him. This guy's gonna jump down and go. Oh. Okay, I've got the samurai sword. So this, I've been told, is the most fun part about the game. If I ever ex expand this game, this is the part of the game that I'm gonna expand. So, oh. accidentally clicked on the window there. Uh, so this is a browser game, and it has the limitations of a browser game as such. So the samurai sword allows you to jump. Here's the tutorial, click and hold to slice to release. So click and slice. As I said before, this is all made on notepad and that was kind of the point of making it was to you know, challenge myself to make something with a text editor from scratch. Um, yeah. The music is also made by me. The music was made in the FL Studio. It's quite simple, it's just like a baseline with some distorted uh, drums and stuff. Yeah. This is like a car garage, which you can fly your way through. Nothing too fancy. You know. I, I do dream to make a, like a full-on proper game one day. And um, based on the animations I've been making recently, I, I want to use that style in my game. I want to make like a GTA style game. And I know that's like super ambitious, but you know, the, the Mafia series and GTA series has had such a big impact on my life. And I feel like that, that template of, you know, driving around uh, in a city where you can pretty much do whatever you want. I think it's a fantastic template and it's so un... They, like, they haven't developed the template for about 20 years, and I think there's so much you could do with it, like owning businesses and, uh, you know, protection money and all that. So you, it needs to be, like, full open world, like, anyway, I'm ranting. But here is the, the final boss level of the game. So as you stand here, pauses, there's a little glitch there. Um, Uh-oh, he says, and the enemies start pouring in. Okay, I'm gonna take this guy out. Okay, go up here. So I'm take this gun. This level design, yeah, it may seem random, but what it actually is is the uh, visual representation of the music that's playing. So, damn it. Okay, so I'm just gonna go back to this checkpoint. Oops. So yeah, problems of a browser game. You can actually make it full screen. You can make it full screen. There you go. The problem with making it full screen is that the, the mouse clicks um, are slightly off. It's just just the way that you know browser games work. It's it's not perfect. It's not like a dedicated engine for standalone games. Uh, so here is the boss level over here again. I'll try it. It's quite hard, I must say. Like. I think people who aren't as invested in the game as, as I am, because I maybe won't really bother to finish this part, but I'm gonna try my best. Ooh, got that guy in the head. Okay. Um, so yeah, like I was saying, these platforms are a visual re representation of the music that's playing. So that that ba that baseline round, that's that's what you see. Yeah. I'm not really going to write music to think about how it actually lines up. Uh, I assure you it does. Okay, I ran out of bullets, which is very, very silly because... Oh, yeah, they died. Okay, last time, last time. No messing around now. I'm going to take these guys out. As I say that... There is health, 
ground level in case you oh damn it okay i'll i'll edit this if, if i don't get it now um, anyway at least it shows that the game is challenging so if you up for a challenge uh, take a look cool. i'm just gonna hit these guys as they come down it's so much easier than standing in the middle what I mean about it being off because because of it being full screen now my mouse clicks are slightly offset uh, there might be a way to fix that actually but it's all in notepad so like any change that you do changes everything like you have to be very very careful about what you change <sighs> and I died again okay this time I will be careful I promise Good. See, it's it's actually kind of interesting, I think, because you know I just made this quickly as like an experiment to for my CD, and I actually kind of like the gameplay. Like you kind of have to measure how far your your samurai sword is going to go. Ah, there you go. I don't know why that guy dropped down, but. So once you've killed, I think it's 13 enemies or so, then this boss level area unlocks and you can continue to get to this guy. And here we go. There's the end of the level. Hello? Can I help you? This is me, by the way. I'm looking for Tom. I'm Tom. This background was made um, with <laughs> just an array that generates random numbers and then like the random heights of the buildings and then uh, loops it with the level. So there you go, that's the end of the I didn't read that cutscene, you can read it for yourself if you play the game. But yeah, that's it. Thank you so much for watching the video. Um, if you enjoy my content, please take a look at my other videos and stay tuned for more games and more videos that I make in the future. Uh, as you can see here, there's a link to my portfolio and a link to my CD. You can go take a look at that if you want. We'll just open up in a new window and here you can see some of my animation and my artwork. I'm a caricature artist and uh, do a number of things. Anyway, thank you so much for watching and... Have a fantastic day. Love you lots. Bye.